The absolute best herb that you could take for liver disease, okay, is this herb called milk thistle. Now, when I'm talking about liver disease, I'm talking about three things, fatty liver, cirrhosis, which is scar tissue, and an inflamed liver. It's called hepatitis, okay? And when we talk about a fatty liver, I'm talking about both non-alcoholic fatty liver disease as well as alcoholic fatty liver disease. And by the way, as a side note, if you look at the difference between the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and an alcoholic fatty liver disease, I mean, it's almost identical. So that's actually amazing that there's some non-alcoholic reasons why the liver gets fatty. And that all relates to one thing, insulin resistance. There's always this insulin resistance in this non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, okay? And that involves too much insulin, which comes from too much sugar, too much refined carbohydrates, and definitely with fructose, as in high fructose corn syrup. Unfortunately, more and more children are developing a fatty liver. In fact, one out of 10 kids has a fatty liver. And out of that 10%, 17% are developing scar tissue. Because what happens, you go through this evolution, you have fatty liver, okay, or an inflamed liver that then turns into scar tissue, which is eventually going to turn into cirrhosis, which is the advanced form of late end stage liver disease which is irreversible. There's a point of no return. And the other important thing you need to know about the liver is there's not a lot of symptoms with liver damage, okay? Until it becomes very, very end stage, okay? So by the time you know you have damage, a lot of times it's too late. One way to know that the liver is developing fat is just to look down at your shoes right now. And if you can't see your shoes because your belly is sticking out, we know you have a fatty liver. When the liver becomes fatty, it then spills over into spaces around the liver cells, as well as around the liver itself. So you have what's called visceral fat, which is fat around the organs, as well as inside the organs too. But ectopic fat is the fat that accumulates outside the fat cell. And it just kind of spreads over because there's no more space. But regardless of what kind of liver problem you have, this is a really good remedy, okay? Milk thistle. The group of compounds in milk thistle that's producing all these wonderful effects is called silymarin. It's kind of a collective group of similar compounds that really can help your liver. Number one, and this is the biggest effect, it can actually protect you against poisons. I mean, medications, actually poisons too, but and medications are a poison to your liver. But things like Tylenol, things like SSRIs. In fact, if you are on a medication, I highly recommend that you also at the same time take milk thistle to protect you against the damage. Also, if you're on chemotherapy, I highly recommend you take this herb. The majority of silymarin is in the seed, okay? In the seed of this weed, okay? This is what it looks like. And what you do if you wanted to harvest your own, which I recommend because it's very, very inexpensive. It's, this prickery weed is probably in your backyard right now or in a field that you can wait until a certain time where this flower turns kind of white. And there's a two week window where you can actually capture the seeds. But this plant is basically going to allow the wind to spread its seeds and regrow. So what you do is you wear gloves, you take the top part of this plant off, okay? It's gonna be like a white little bushy thing with a bunch of seeds. And you're going to hang it upside down and shake it into a bag or a bowl. And you're going to separate out these little things that are attached to it. They look like little parachutes, okay? And you get the seeds and you can then grind them up in a coffee grinder and put them on your salad. You can also put them in a shake, okay? Let's say you have a blueberry and a, a kale shake with maybe a little kefir. Uh, you can consume them in many different ways. But milk thistle is quite amazing. It protects you against poisons. You know, including medications. It can protect you against poisonous mushrooms. It can protect you against snake bites, as in poisonous snake bites. It can protect you against alcohol. So it can do a lot for you. It also has the capacity to decrease fat on your liver, as well as help you regenerate liver cells. It decreases liver enzymes, which are an indication that there's liver damage. And it does all this through increasing 
two very powerful antioxidants. One is SOD and the other is glutathione, okay? So they're antioxidants. Um, the other thing that this herb will do relates to blood sugars. It helps to regulate blood sugars by lowering insulin and glucose and improving insulin resistance. And as a side note to that, that may or may not be related, it's also very, very good for depression. And milk thistle can also reduce inflammation, especially hepatitis C. Now, if you haven't seen my video on the best foods that you can eat for a fatty liver, that is the next one you should watch right here. Check it out.